I just needed people to know the velocity in which we roll in tonight oh, on your block, which is your new record label. But it's not really new because didn't weren't the soul singers on the label My Block? Yeah. Records? So for for some years it was a production company. Uh huh. And we flipped it and turned it into a full service label. Once we started, you know, doing our own, because I was doing deals with major labels as a production company. Mm -hmm. But then we said, okay, we don't need the major label anymore. We're going to do it ourselves and go independent and release records ourselves. And we, we uh, turned it into a full service label. Nice. Wow. Yeah. How do you get to work with the best as a teenager? You know, I think it's favor. It's, it's just a favor of God. You know, um, some people will say you're in the right place at the right time. Uh, but I think, you know, preparation you know you know mixed with chance and opportunity they they they, they just kind of combusted in my life uh i was one of those guys i didn't go outside and play very much mm -hmm. i was always <laughs> kids in my neighborhood would say uh you know well you were always in there playing that piano but then something happened a fight would break out you come outside and fight <laughs> and then go back in the house and play your piano again that was that's pretty much could you win a fight Oh yeah. Or were you losing? Because I, 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 you're you're fight. from Watts, right? I was born in Watts, but uh, I was raised in 52nd and Normandy. I actually grew up in the same neighborhood as Donnie. Oh, okay. Yeah. From from the Mike and Donnie show. Yeah, yeah, we're from the same neighborhood. <laughs> what was your very first songwriting or producing gig? I was so before I was a songwriter, I was a player. I played on a lot of records, and then uh, at 16, um, I joined a band called New Vision. Mm -hmm. They were signed to Epic. It was a Hispanic Christian band. Oh, okay. And they were working on the second album, and they, they had me write this song. I wrote two songs on that album. And uh, it was called What I Feel Inside. Nobody's ever heard it. It <laughs> might have sold maybe 100 copies. I, mean, I, I just bought one off of Amazon the other day. Oh, you just? Really? Yeah. I bought a CD because my dad was talking about it. Remember that song? Because I was driving down the street, and uh -huh. I heard the song on the radio. It was a radio station back then called K-Max. Uh -huh. It was a gospel station, right? And I heard it on there. And I was pulling up. My dad was outside watering the grass. Turned it up, and we were in the front yard jumping. Oh, it's on, it's on. <laughs> and so he asked me about that song. That was my first.